Hello and welcome back to the Bober Academy Football Podcast. As we could kick off the 2023 season, we are bringing back a feature that we really like, which is our Saturday Recovery Series with Dr. Nolan Clausen of Midwest Movement. Um, I am your host, Chris Bober. I'm the founder of the Bober Academy, where our mission is to train and develop superior linemen to dominate on the gridiron. And again, thank you so much, Dr. Nolan, for coming in. And I guess before we get to that, just a quick reminder, if you're listening to this on a podcast app, be sure to subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, right down there is a subscribe button. Please subscribe to our channel. And then on all the social media feeds out there, be sure to share, comment, retweet, like, all the things that they do on social media. So, Dr. Nolan, thank you so much for joining us again. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having us. It's exciting. We're here. Football season. Yeah, football season is officially here. And, um, you know, so Dr. Nolan and I have had a great relationship, and I've learned so much from him, and it's actually changed kind of how I teach offensive line, just understanding how our bodies work and some of the best practices to maximize the potential and ability for your bodies. And one of the things that comes up in the, in high school football, and I think high school sports and sports in general is once you get to season, you kind of just get focused in on the games, the plays, the practices. And while your coaches have lifting sessions a couple of times a week, um, with school and everything going on, it's really easy to kind of neglect, you know, taking care of your body and, and, and helping you recover. And that's what this series is about. So we're putting this out every, every week after the games. Um, but today we're going to, I'm going to have Dr. Nolan explain and then show us, um, a full body mobility routine. And I had Dr. Nolan come out to my football camp and the guys were kind of looking at us like, what, what the heck's going on here? But once they went through it, they felt great. And there's also going to be materials and links that I'm going to share with this podcast, with this video, wherever you're seeing it. Um, but but tell me about kind of this mobility routine that you like your athletes to go through and why it's important, Dr. Nolan. Yeah. So basically, you know, football, it's a, it's a rough sport. Uh, you know, we get banged up on Friday nights, Saturday mornings, you wake up just swollen, stiff, um, just unable to move you might even experience that friday after the games um but what a lot of people tend to do is i just need to rest um and yes rest is good we don't need to go hit like a pr workout the next day but we we do need to get our bodies moving again we need to get them to you know do some unweighted movements uh, just to get those joints to feel refreshed, get those muscles to understand how they're supposed to move again. Um, when you get banged up, your your joints, you know, they they tighten up and they get in these uh, uh, patterns where they're basically locking up. And we need to open those back up so that we can be prepared for the next week. Um, and a lot of like old, more old school is stretching. Um, and stretching is good and all that stuff, but we believe that mobility is actually better. We're moving our joints versus uh, just putting tension on our muscles. And a, a lot of times those tensions on our muscles are put down because our, uh, our brain is putting brakes on our, our system so that we are not gonna hurt ourselves or move past uh, certain movements that would hurt ourselves. But if we get those joints moving again, uh, basically, those muscles and the brain will start to release some of that tension. Um, it's also a really good way that we increase the heart rate enough um, to, you know, just kind of get blood flowing. Uh, we get the blood flowing in those muscles. We're starting to move out some of that lactic acid that we build up over that Friday night game. Yeah, and to be okay. clear, you know, when, you, when your body experiences trauma, like you do from a workout and especially from a football game, um, the protective like kind of inner voice and in the way our, our, our bodies work is it tends to want to want to protect us, right? To yeah. kind of stabilize. That's why you have swelling, right? It wants you to right. stop moving the lactic acid. Your brain senses pain. So you're thinking, okay, that hurts. I need to stop doing it. But actually it's counterproductive because if you had all the time in the world to get ready for the next game, yeah, that might be great. But right. Typically, you got to get going pretty fast again. So, um, for the, for when you're going to start to show this in a minute, you got to know there's going to be some discomfort in doing this. But usually, at the end of it, you feel not only um, in your joints and your muscles, but also your, your you know your 
kind of the emotion of it. You kind of get a high from moving around again and you kind of get this kind of will to go back to, and get ready for the next game, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it produces endorphins. That heart mm-hmm. rate produces enough endorphins to kind of give you that good feeling. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, I always feel better. Uh, it's a good way to start your day. Um, I, I'm. We're talking about just doing this on Saturdays right now, but ideally you would do this every day or before every workout um, just to keep your body moving. Um, the some of the best. Uh, NFL players, you know, like spend tons of time preparing their bodies um, and not just in the sense of lifting weights or eating right, but in the sense of preparing their bodies with movement and mobility. So, yeah. Yeah, I just I recently watched that quarterback series and it's amazing to see what an athlete like Patrick Mahomes does during the season. Right. Um, it, and it just kind of blew my mind because even when I played, there was this movement thing, but you see the results of putting in the work and the players that are watching and listening is just know that all the work you did to get to the season, you start to slowly lose that unless you yep. optimize your body. So that's what this is for. Um, all right, Dr. Nolan, this yep. is going to be the full body routine. And again, I have a nice flyer to, that I'm going to share. I'm going to have links to show how to do it, but give us a quick rundown of kind of how to go about this and um, this mobility routine, which should only take a few minutes. Yep. So we're going to go every joint. We're going to start up at the neck. We're going to move all the way down to the toes. But basically what we're trying to do is get every single joint to explore its maximum capacity, right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to get it to move through every direction possible through rotational movements. Um, we're also at the same time, the joints that we're not moving, we want to lock down. So there's a lot of concentration in these movements. And Chris already kind of alluded to this. You're going to feel some discomfort. If you're not feeling discomfort, you're one, either moving too quickly through it or you're not pushing yourself enough. Um, So we need to make sure that we're uh, kind of pushing into that discomfort just a little bit. There's a big difference between discomfort and pain, right? If we're having pain or we're experiencing pain, that's when you reach out to us and we can try to help you through that pain. But if it's discomfort, we keep pushing into it. We got to get the body a little uncomfortable uh, to get going. So we're going to, I'm going to start right here um, just so that we don't have to change the camera too much, but you would start in a standing position. You could do kneeling like I am right here, but basically I'm going to make fists with my hands. I'm going to lock my arms down by my side we're going to start with the neck. So we're going to take our chin all the way down to our chest as far as we can. We're going to rotate and then start to look up. We're pretending like we're drawing the biggest circle that we can with our chin. So we're going to go two times each way. Good. So that was two times rotating to the left. Now we're gonna rotate to the right. So we're gonna go chin down, rotate to the right, big circle, as big a circle as we can. There's a little discomfort in my neck, especially when I get back here. You're gonna feel some stretching in those muscles. So there's your stretch if you wanna do that. Um, All right, Mm -hmm. so we got the neck down. Now we're gonna move on to our shoulders, okay? This is the next joint down, basically. So. Again, we're going to lock down the side that's not moving. So we're going to start with our right hand. We're going to lock down our left hand, make a fist, lock it to our side. We're going to take our shoulder. We're going to go thumbs up. We're going to reach that thumb straight back. Once we get to kind of that max bump, we're going to rotate that thumb in. Try to even rotate it forward all the way around. We're going to reach back as far as we can. Good. Once we get to the bottom, we're going to reverse that. Come back all the way, bring in that thumb around. There was one rep, reach, really reaching as far as we can. In this, I'd like to imagine that we're up against a wall and we're trying not to touch that wall as best as we can, okay? Mm -hmm. So we do two rotations. We go forward, back, forward, back, okay? Now we're gonna go the other side. So make a fist with the right hand, lock it down. We're gonna go left arm, thumb up, rotate it in, 
reach as far back as we can. We're trying not to turn our shoulders as much as possible, mm -hmm. trying to stay square to the front. Good. Thumb in, rotate as far as we can. Try not to turn those shoulders, rotate it all the way back. Trying to grind out that joint. Okay. Yeah, the so good point that you make on here is that like the lack of rotation and trying to do that. So you're looking at yourself on your phone. So it's probably good to either look at yourself on your phone or, or yeah. in front of the mirror, right? Just to make yep. sure you're doing yep. it. All right, That's continue a, on. That's a great cue. All right, now we're going to go back to the right elbow, block down that left side. We're going to palm up. We're going to flex that bicep. We're going to wipe it off, wipe our chest off, rotate down, around, rotate back up. Good. There's one. We're going to go again. I'm My triceps and my biceps are like working really hard because we're really trying to push into those motions. Now we're going to reverse that going back out. Rotate it back in. Wipe the chest off. Rotate it back around. Wipe it back off. Good. Now we're going to stay on this right side. We're going to do the wrist. So we're going to bring it just in front so that you can see. We're going to lock that elbow down to our side. Point that wrist up, rotate it in, down and around. Rotate that wrist down and around. There's two times that way. We're going to rotate it the other way. Good. Okay, now let's go on to that left side. So we're going to bring that hand up, wax off, all the way around. Good. Wax off. Good. Rotate the other way. Really just trying to get those elbows to move. Good. Now we're going to take the wrist and do the same thing. Try to keep the uh, inside part of your forearm up towards the ceiling the whole time. Elbow pinch aside. Good. There's two times that way. We're going to go two times the other way. Really trying to grind out that wrist. Good. Okay. So we've done the neck, shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Now we're going to move on to our mid-back, okay? So we're going to give ourselves a big hug. Try to get your elbows together as much as possible. Ooh, got a cramp there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to basically curl up into the biggest ball that we can. We're going to rotate those elbows to the side. Rotate, big circle. Trying to draw the biggest circle we can with those elbows. You're really trying to get those mid spine to start moving you might feel some popping and things like that then we're going to reverse the other way rotate good two times this way good okay so we just got the upper half now we're going to start going into the low back hips knees and ankles okay so i'm going to readjust my camera here just a little bit there we go all right so the low back is a little different one. We're going to do a tabletop position. We're going to try to tuck our tailbone as far as we can, trying to fight for a little bit more range. Then we're going to kind of J-Lo booty it up, try to get our butt <laughs> up into the air, trying to fight for a little bit more range. Then we're going to reverse that, tuck our tailbone. We're trying to just move our lower part of our back or reverse good so that was two times just going that's a really good one i like to do about 10 of those because it mm -hmm. feels good on the low back trying to get it to move now we're gonna move our hips so there's a couple ways to do this we're gonna show it this way um but basically you're gonna lay on your side right here you're gonna make a fist you're gonna grab that fist hold it tight you're gonna bring your top knee towards your chest, you're gonna open it up, rotate that foot down and back behind you. Good, then you're gonna reverse that. You're gonna bring it back up and around and down. Up, out, reverse around, back down, reverse that back the other way. And Chris is coming to, has done this one in our office and we uh, got his hips moving really well that day yeah and it, it really kind of loosened up my back too you know so yeah. much of the back pain comes from tight hips and that really opened it up yep 
So we're going to do the other side, knee up, rotate out, rotate back, around, kick back, up to, and around again. There's one, knee up towards chest, rotate it up, foot behind, back down, kick back, rotate out, and around. Good. Now we got both hips moving. Now we're going to do the knee. So I'm going to grab behind my thigh and I'm going to try to push my heel up towards the ceiling as far as I can. Rotate it out, down, in, up. There's one rotation. Down, up, in. Good. There's two. We're going to reverse that and go the other way. Good. Always trying to draw as big a circle as we can with the joint. So my heel is drawing a big circle. Good. Uh, no, I got a question about the knee, the knee one, you know, so you have guys, like I have guys who have had knee issues and they wear like knee braces. Is this yep. okay for these guys to do like take the brace off and do some mobility with the, with a knee like that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like control is the name of the game, right? Your body is going to move into those ranges of motion. If you only move into those ranges of motion when you're pushed into it, mm -hmm. that's where problems happen. So if you can control it by moving your body, you're going to avoid injury because you can control that movement. Very nice. Now we're going to go ankle. So we're going to point those toes away from us. We're going to rotate them in, point them up and out, make it as big a circle as we can. Rotate in and out. Good. Reverse that. Down and around. Down around. Good. Now we'll go to the other side. We're going to grab behind the thigh. We're going to get our knee moving. Good. Rotate in. Down. Up. Trying to point that heel towards the ceiling. Trying to move that leg through big circles. We're going to reverse that. If you feel discomfort while you're doing this, that's a good thing. But if you feel pain in the knee, that would be cause for coming to see us and making sure that we can handle something. Nice. Okay. So now we're going to move that ankle, rotate it back around. There's one, two, we're going to reverse that. Back around, back around. Okay, so we finished everything except the feet. So this is where we got to slip the shoes off. We're going to take socks off too. And I highly suggest you guys do this at home too with taking the shoes and socks off. But you can see my toes here. All right, yep. so what we're going to do, we're going to push the big toes into the ground, lift the other four. Okay. Some of you that have never done this, this is going to be really hard and you might need to give some help. So you might have to push down with the big toes and lift the other four. Then you might are going to switch. So you're going to push the other four down with the other big toes. So you might have to do this there, there, just trying to get mobilization in the foot, right? I was like that at one point, you just got to start moving and going back and forth. It's really good to have mobile feet and dexterity of our toes. The more dexterity of our toes, the stronger our feet can be, the stronger our base is going to be. Okay, cool. So that is the full, the full routine. Okay. So if you felt extra discomfort in one of those ranges of motion, that might be something that you need to spend a little bit more time. We're only doing two rotations on those. Go back and do five rotations mm -hmm. on that area that was causing you a little bit more discomfort than others. In the coming weeks, basically, we're going to do that routine. And if you found discomfort, we're going to show you other ways yeah. to go into this. So whether that was your hips, you're like, yeah, my hips were really, really discomforting mm -hmm. when we did that. We're going to show you a, a little bit of a... a further steps in moving those hips and trying to get them to go a little bit further. Yeah. So we'll, we'll dive down a little deeper on each, each one of those. And yeah. again, like you said, you know, 
we're, we, we, we call a Saturday recovery series, but this is something that we, we should do every day. Right. Yep. It's like, and for those of you who are watching or listening to this, wherever you're finding this, there's going to be a link to videos and there's going to be a flyer that goes with it. You know, you just pull that flyer up, do these, pull this video up and do that. Um, it's something that, you know, the elite athletes do stuff like this, just a simple routine like this. I can help out so much. You can't even describe how much it would help you get you through the season and, and yeah. be out there, be ready to practice and be ready to play when those things come up. So I'm checking my heart rate right now. I was up into the 95 area, mm -hmm. right? It's not super high, but it's a, a little bit higher. I was kind of getting short of breath talking and things mm -hmm. like that, right? That's really, really good uh, to, you know, get our bodies moving and get them actually acclimated. We don't got to go for a run and we don't got to go lift weights and things like that, but we can get movement and we can get some exercise by just doing those motions here. It's funny how crazy our, uh, our body reacts to those full ranges of motion and, mm -hmm. uh, raising our heart rate, which is a really good thing, especially that next day trying for that recovery. Nice. So that, that's, that's amazing. So again, we're sharing the flyers, we're sharing the links, um, for you players out there. Heck, if you're just the average everyday citizen, this stuff will make you feel so much better. Um, and again, as we wrap this up here, wherever you're finding this, click on those links, um, like our page, yep. subscribe to our page, all that stuff. If you need more than this, right, you have something that's going on and you want to get back on the field, uh, Midwest movement, Elkhorn.com is the website for Dr. Nolan and, and his people out there. They do such a great job. I've had a lot of our, my guys go in there and it's amazing. If you understand how the body works, you can get them moving again and get back out there and compete with your buddies. So, uh, Dr. Lillen, thanks. Thank you so much for joining us. Look forward to um, next time when we come in yeah. and we'll, we'll dive a little deeper on, on one of those um, areas of the body and we'll continue doing that every week. And hopefully everyone out there watching and listening is enjoying this. We can make you better and um, help you get out there and play in the field. So best of luck to everyone with their week one games. I hope they went well. Yeah. I hope your season's kicking off with, great. And, you know, we got a long season ahead of us. Let's keep keep on, uh, keep ourselves and our players out on the field playing football. So, Dr. Nolan, have a great day. We will talk to you next time, okay? Yep. Thank you. Bye-bye.